Yeah, guys, let's make a beginning. Um, okay, so one really easy exercise that we'll just talk about um, is this introduction to periodic phenomena. So a function is periodic if it repeats itself in a horizontal direction. Okay, so we can see here it's repeating itself over the horizontal thing. So that means we've got this section and it keeps repeating that section. Okay, so yes, periodic. All right. This one is not, okay, because although it seems to repeat like it's going up that way forever, it's not repeating its vertical translation in a horizontal direction, okay, because it just keeps going further and further away, okay, so no. And then here, we can see this is repeating that section, okay, it's repeated again and again and again, so yes, periodic phenomena. Okay, so that exercise 7a, you'll be able to look at it. I think you're just doing question one, you just look at it and you're just saying, is it periodic, is it not? Does it repeat itself in a horizontal direction? The reason we're skipping chapter six, who can remember? <laughs> chapter six is, is, is the easiest thing you'll do. All right, it's because of the assignment. I said I want to include some sign graphs in our assignment. Today you're going to learn about sign graphs and how to manipulate them to include them in your assignment. Sign graphs are going to be fantastic. They could be the cornerstone of your roller coaster. To generate a sign graph, I'm going to show you the foundation of it so that you can understand what a sign graph is, where it's coming from, and then how to utilize it. You've got a pretty big table there to fill in. Okay. Luckily, it repeats itself. Um, so you don't need to calculate everything. You should start to notice some patterns, a bit like when we did the unit circle. And you'll even refer to your unit circle to fill it in. Along the top here, we've got the angles expressed in radians. Okay. Down here, I've got the angle rounded to three significant figures. Okay. So I'll just talk quickly about significant figures. Three significant figures. So I'm writing the first four numbers, and then I'm rounding the fourth one. Five goes up, so this rounds to 0.524. Obviously, in your table, you don't need to write both. I've only put it up here to exhibit how we do rounds of four significant figures. The other example is here. I've got 0.7853. Three does not round up. It stays as it is. So to three significant figures, 0.785. Okay, so you'll be able to crunch them out. Then we've got, what is the value of sine theta? Okay, so that means, given the angle, what is the y coordinate? Okay, so... For zero degrees, the y coordinate is zero. For pi on six, um, the, eight, the y coordinate is half. For pi on four, the y coordinate is one over root two. And then I've expressed the y coordinate to three significant figures. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to plot this on the axis that we've got. All right. Our first point is the angle is zero, and our y value is zero. Okay. So we're going zero zero. On this axis, I've got theta. On this axis, I've got sine theta. Our next coordinate is theta is 0 0.524. So we're going to have to approximate. That's why I've drawn that grid line there. Just do it as best as you can. So theta is 0.524, so about here. And the y coordinate is 0 0.5. So that's going to be halfway there. All right, so that's our first point. Then our next point, 0 0.785. So that's about halfway between 0 0.5 and 1. And it corresponds with 0 0.7. So it's going to be like... There, okay, and you're going to go keep going the whole way along. We go to 2 pi, but then we go to 3 pi because this is going to be a periodic function. It's going to repeat itself every 2 pi, okay? So that's why we've gone that extra pi. Um, but I've shown you enough to get started, and once we've sort of done most of it, we'll come back and we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about um, how we can use it. But to begin with, I just want you to graph it yourself. Simple. Fill the table in, plot it on the graph. Okay? Let's get into it. Uh, let, let's do this first. Okay, do, yeah, good question, Pat. Do, the, do, you, do your graph, uh, your, that piece of paper I gave you first. That's what I want you to focus on. Yep. The piece of paper that I handed out to you? Let's crack that out. 